One of the victims in Dayton has ties to our area. 36-year-old Nicole Warren Curtis attended high school in Wilmington. Our Greg Argus spoke with someone who knew her and he joins us, joins us now from Del Castle Technical High School. Greg. Good evening there. Yo, often so much attention is focused on what happened. We forget about who it happened to. One of the victims is Nicole Warren Curtis. About 20 years ago, she walked the halls here at this Wilmington, Delaware High School, and tonight her friends, her former teachers, are saying she will be sorely missed. Two days, two different mass shootings. Dispatch. We got shots fired, we got multiple people down. The second early Sunday morning in Dayton, Ohio, killed nine, including 36 year old Beatrice Warren Curtis, better known by friends and former teachers as Nicole. The thing with Nicole, she was a leader by example. In 2000, Nicole graduated from Del Castle Technical High School in Wilmington, Delaware. A committed student, fondly remembered by her auto body teacher, Tony Tiberi. She picked auto body and she proved well. She did really well down here. She was before her time. I mean, she, here's a girl coming in auto body and uh, did a great job. Tony says she was loved by her friends and fellow classmates. Everybody respected her and she was calm and she had a common effect with the kid, other kids, other students. One of those students is Ricky Brown. She was just a, a caring person, a true friend, genuine true friend. Ricky has known Nicole since the sixth grade. He says they formed a close relationship over all these years, and though Nicole was now living in Virginia, the two stayed in regular contact. Nicole just days ago congratulating Ricky on a new job. I mean, the world just definitely lost a great person. Because of senseless violence. <laughs> which has hurt the families and friends of more than 30 people over such a violent weekend. She was an angel, and she's going to carry on being an angel. Now tonight I also spoke with Nicole's cousin, who says she was a loving, kind person. He also posted a message on Facebook with these words, nothing about this is right. I'm live here in Wilmington, Delaware, Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Greg, thank you.